Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Dayang. And my question is, um, as students, we have to face a lot of decisions in my, our life, right? So um, Islam gives a, us a way to make the right choice by making solat istikarah and whatnot. So how do we know that the sign that we get um, is divine guidance as in hidayah or just shaitan trying to lead us astray? Thank you. Now, it's very important for us to have the right understanding about the adapt of Salatul Istiqara. Salatul Istiqara is not just plain prayer that you just have, you're confused, you do not know what to choose, you do not know where you're heading, so you're praying to Rakat and ask Allah for guidance. The Prophet ﷺ guided his ummah before you make Salatul Istiqara. You must do your homework. You must try your level best to value the good and the bad, the benefit and the thing that you are not going to benefit you if you proceed. Example, I'm looking for a job. Give you a job. I'm jobless now. I want to look for a job. Suddenly, I got a job. Just one. If two, then you maybe you are confused. Or say you have two. I get it make it easier. Two offer came to you. One give you, oh no, okay. I will give you a good salary, but you have to uncover yourself. You have to take out your hijab. And one he honor your right to to be with yeah on, on with your hijab, but that job may not yeah, give you a good salary. Now, when you have these two, which one do you choose normally? Do you choose the one with a better salary? Normally, human being will, oh, this one, I have a better salary. This one is 3,000. This one is 1,500, half of it. Now, istikara is not just for you to choose. He didn't know because the salat to istikara in the prayer, you are asking Allah, oh Allah, if this thing is good for me, my religion, my family, make it easy for me. Not only good for you, sometimes thing is good for you, but it's bad for your religion. No, they're testing you. Do you believe in what you believe? Do you want to be a good Muslim or you just don't care? Are you to trade your iman with dunya? It's a test. And sometimes they say, okay, I honor your right to cover everything, but you must travel a lot. Now, now you've got to sacrifice. If you have a family, do you think it's worth just to have extra money? Now you don't have time with your family. What is going to happen to the family? So everything must be balanced. As long as it do not go against the principle of Islam, after you have done your homework, you are still uh, are confused, just make Turukat prayer. Inshallah, Allah will give you the sign. Not necessarily through a dream now. The sign is very simple for those who have knowledge. For those who don't have knowledge, after that, uh, even the sign is there, I don't see the sign. Pray again. The sign is there, uh, I don't see the sign. Because you don't understand the sign of Allah Rabbil Alameen. So you must have the right knowledge before you do all this prayer. May Allah guide us. Inshallah.